Hello, <laughs> and welcome to this, which, what is this anyway? It's like a wrap-up, isn't it? It's a let's have a look at the toys episode. Yeah, because we haven't seen it. We kept them secret. Kept them safe. They've been down in the basement all this time. They have. James has been terrorised, hasn't <laughs> he? He's just like, let me have a look, let me have a look. No, no. Yeah, no, you can't look in there. <laughs> so, and we haven't, I'm trying to avert my eyes now, because it's all down I can't here. Help it. it's like, Whoa. There's a couple of things I remember, but this is it. This is the first time we're actually going to see the stuff that we bought on Toys One Tour and you guys get to come along and see them as well. Toy Shop on Tour, Series 2. The return of that TV series that takes you, dear viewer, all around the world as me and Gav buy as many toys as we can and pop them in this van. And this time we're visiting a whole bunch of shops all around Europe. Action figures, dolls, Star Wars, weird stuff, Transformers, monsters, space toys, bootlegs, He-Man. Travelling thousands of miles through Italy, Switzerland, Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium and France. We'll have some rare items and some old favourites. So join me, Joe, Gav and Matt the Cameraman as we take this Toy Shop on Tour. Now the things I do definitely remember, I mean, obviously <laughs> the Black Star Ice Castle yeah, from a great episode big thing one. There. I remember this. Oh. But I, this has got jeopardy involved, doesn't it? This mm. is like, we don't know what the condition mm. is like. This is unused, this is sealed, absolutely beautiful, but we don't know what the condition is like. And we're gonna look at that at the end of the thing. I think at the end, because I don't want it to spoil it if it is, but I fear it's broken. Could be a real downer. It could be a real so downer. Let's see, see that so in let's, there. Come on, let's what, else, what else we got? Pull that down. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like diffusing a bomb handling that thing. You're like, <laughs> and it's What's obviously, it? it's traveled all around Europe as well. Oh, there's oh, some of the yeah, stuff from see, Switzerland. Already, I forgot about these. This is some of the stuff from Switzerland. Oh, it's Brainiac. Oh, man. Is he okay? He's good. He's oh, survived good, the man. journey. Oh, that oh. beautiful power Pushing. action computer kit. Yeah. Kenner yeah. Superpowers. A Dark Dimensions, wasn't it? Line. Dark Dimensions, yeah. yeah. That was, it was a creep it up in the elevator. That was amazing. Oh. He had a bar in. <laughs> <laughs> that was you happy. Straight in. It was so hot as well. So it was, yeah. like, it was very welcome. <laughs> but luckily, Mr. Freeze would have been all right. He would. All right, as long as he's got his gear on. But look, that is a rare figure. One of the later ones in the range. Yeah. You don't see him very often, so we couldn't not, couldn't not leave him behind. Oh yeah. When we, <laughs> when we <laughs> first famous, saw the editor. Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe that was the first time we saw the editor. So what are they actually called? These are Airfix Eagles. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, like, come on. He was stressing like, about that in the van. <laughs> he was like, I've oh, got it wrong, I've got it wrong. <laughs> afterwards, I'm talking about it going, I'm sure I've got that wrong. I definitely got that wrong. And then like, I woke up in the middle of the night and literally went, Airfix Eagles. It was terrible. <laughs> The things you dream about as a toy collector and toy dealer. Oh, he's There's good more as well. Oh, more mean. superpowers. Orion, another rare one from the later line. Very nice. Oh, these are great. Secret Wars. Oh. Daredevil. Really cool. Again, it's from the same place. That's a cool box, that was. <laughs> that was a fun. Oh. Good stuff. Oh, is that everything? Oh no, there's no, a, they've got, they've got, they've it's got a flyer fly, for Dark yeah. Dimensions. Dark Dimensions, very but good. Make sure to go and uh, check them out online. Yeah. And if you're over there, go and have a look. It's oh, so so much stuff, wasn't there it? There is. Did I mention they've got a bar? They've got a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I have, we haven't got a Hear that squeak? I'm gonna pull him out. That's oh, my man. bag of that's my bag of stuff. This from ball. from Leo. <laughs> These are massive in Italy. These little blown vinyl. Squeaky toys and uh, Creature de Goma. Yeah, in had Venice. Yeah, like more of these than we've ever seen. Than, than you will ever see you never, anywhere you, else. We never knew it was a thing either. You kind no, of like go, you don't know it's it. a thing. So I, I picked him up off Lee. I thought, oh, that's weird and unusual. Then we go into the museum. It's like, there's loads of it. I can't <laughs> be getting into this. <laughs> but it's great. And plus, every time we squeaked him, and even now, Matt laughs. <laughs> you probably saw the camera jiggle a little bit there. <laughs> it's, it's not the squeak, is it? It's the it's the after bit. Yeah. So it's, it's like the, it's the exhale. <laughs> <laughs> that bit, that's that bit. And this caused so much amusement on the journey because he was he was knocking about in the cab of the yeah. van for quite a while. So we were we were sort of like it would constantly if you were a bit bored, you'd, yeah, it would a little squeak. It would, it would Cheer everyone bright. up. Yeah. This is your bag of goodies. This isn't is my it? bag. Oh, I got all sorts. Was of this bits. the bag of stuff that you left behind, or is this the bag that you took home? No, actually, we need to find that bag. <laughs> little Tommy robot. Fantastic. I, if people who watch this know I collect these, yeah. and I've not got this little cat one. It's a 90s one, it's not 80s, but how cute is that? Yeah. Not tried him with a battery yet, though. Very cute. 
countdown. Now this countdown's rough, isn't it? And I bought this for the box. So this was in yes. Belgium, I think. We bought this uh, in Belgium and I have the toy in the cabinet over there. Ah. So I'll be pairing this up with that. Doing a transplant. Yeah, and this one we're going to a, a box of things that I don't particularly want anymore and be sold really cheap. <laughs> that's going to be great because that's a really nice box. It's nice, isn't it? He buys things that he doesn't like. No, I bought what I mean. It, I mean oh, come on. No, I mean, I bought that one's not very nice. The toy isn't very nice. So I want to put the nice toy with it and make it pretty. Ah, uh, now this came from my absolute favourite place, Cushel Mushel. Oh. How good was it? How excited oh, were we? What a day. Uh, we, we were like, it was like being a child again, genuinely. People say that, oh, I feel like a kid. No, we were we like were kids like in children. that place. And we, we were sort of skipping in as well. It was, it was that, <laughs> I'll, never, I'll never ever, for the rest of my days, forget that feeling of walking into, no. walking into Cushel Mushel and the, after such a day of like, adversity and rushing and trying, and then the disappointment and then the, ah, it was amazing. The joy. So yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd like to go back and see both of those places, wouldn't we? The Penguin from Batman Returns. Blown vinyl, these were very cheap back in the day, but they're really hard to get hold of now. Yeah, from Cushion Mushel, but before that, I'd also picked up from the same range, the Catwoman. That was from Andy at uh, Fantasy Strong Vision. Yeah, same same country, yeah, both in Germany. That's it, and you don't see them, do you? Well, you do in Germany, apparently. You do in Germany, <laughs> you see everything in Europe. You do, So many you good do. toys. Going back to Cushion Mushel, I picked up this smurf, and this shows you some of the dangers of travelling around <laughs> Europe because his arm is now held on. I mean, he was already a bit ropey. I'm going to glue him. I'm going to keep him. He's going to look lovely, but he's a bit nailed. He is. He's really bad. <laughs> Part of the dangers of like, and it's getting worse. I need to put him down. Yeah. Keepers. Oh, this is now cool. it's a good job James has not been in here because he'd have his eye on he'd this. He'd have his eye on that. Yeah, definitely. Keepers. Colour variant as well. Different. It is. To the yeah, one. different to the one that we had in the UK. So that's really cool. And colour wise, it's not got, it's gone a little bit. But it's really, just started, it's, you've just got the little yeah. slight here look, but it's, it's, it's so do. minimal. It's so minimal. Very cool. Yeah, that was cool. Where did we get that from? Do you remember? We got, did we get a couple of keepers on the way? We did get a couple of keepers. Yeah. I think we did. This is what I mean, yeah. we can't remember. Oh, Benson. He agreed. This was from Italy. That was a nice This shot. was from. Um, I loved this. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it, oh, no, don't. I've just. <laughs> episode two. So this was our last, one of my last purchases in Italy. And yeah, he's not quite all, all there, but he was really cheap and he's just really cool. And he's Vince, you can't help but love him. He's fantastic. <laughs> Never seen the film, but you know. <laughs> of course. You know what I mean. Standard. Do you remember Fabrizio's vast warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> well, so when you, there's a bit of a language barrier, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. The, the, like we think warehouse and we think, oh, we imagine something from Indiana Jones yeah. or, you know, these big places. and. But there, it could just mean small storage area. A small garage. <laughs> so if somebody says warehouse, you're like, ooh. And then actually you go, hold on a minute, you need to be more specific. Is this a small storage area or big storage area? Yeah. But yeah. It, but you know, we did get this amazing Zorro. He was very cool, and he's isn't really he? good, isn't he? And he had one of them in his museum. He did, yeah. And we saw it, didn't we? And we were like, Zorro. Ooh. Or Zorro, as some people as, like to as, say. As my friend <laughs> Jason calls him, Zorro. Yeah. But yeah, no, he's really cool. I like him a lot. He's good. That garage was so small though. It was tiny. I mean, when I'm in danger of like sort of banging my head, it was like my mm. head was literally on the ceiling. I went through a bit of a sort of Ghostbusters real, you know, oh, the yes. uh, filmation the Ghostbusters filmation, yes. sort of phase. There's loads in here. And that was all from Bologna, wasn't it? From the little yeah. shop in Bologna, which was fantastic. Oh, really they need good. a clean. These are a bit sticky. I'd forgot about these yeah, actually. They need a bit of a clean, they do. But yeah, cool little lot there. Again, and, and, also, not lot, and not a lot of people in this country even know about that cartoon. No, no, no. There's so another one to check out. Woohoo! There we go. Very, very cool. This is from the Captain Planet line. If you see the guy in the Hawaiian shirt, buy him, he's cool. Very, very nice. He's like a variant, him. isn't he? He's different. Yeah, well, not a lot. variant, but he's, yeah, he's just, he's just a little bit more desirable. Yeah. Food Fighters, Heli Bomber, you sort of had to buy this, didn't you, really? Yeah, had to buy that. Because you see Food Fighters at the right price, you buy them. Because they're very popular now. And they are an amazing toy line. Food action figures little army guys but they're food pizza cookies hot dog <laughs> the hot dog one is my favorite one but look cheap toys very cheap toys but by mattel you'd expect it to be a bootleg nice it's all from leo oh so there we have the jig remember it's jig people not gig i've been calling it gig for years because i'm a toy expert but no it's jig apparently yeah <laughs> that's your stratos so that's the uh that's that's how i like 
I, I have to pick up a you know a little yeah. wheel jack whenever I'm out there, don't I? It's always the way. And stuff like this. Oh, these are great. These are just really cool. It's like I know this is sort of. I mean, it's a bit naff. I mean, what's good about bit this? Naff. It highlights how much they merchandised cartoons. Definitely, yeah. Like everything from stampers, stationery, pencil cases, everything you could get. What's that? It's another little rubber stamp. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. It's, I mean, did you as a I mean, did you use stamps? Oh, I did. did but you? I'm crafty. Yeah, you're crafty. Crafty. It's like <laughs> dodgy. <laughs> and this is like just a box of just shit. Hey, I forgot about these. Oh, well, I forgot. You know. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. The street, street fighter figures. figures. Did we get E Honda as well? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still in the box now. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm discovering this as much as you are, mate. <laughs> All the excitement. <gasps> Ken. Ken. Oh, these got were a great price from Leo, weren't they? He these didn't. He really looked after cool. us on these. Oh, there right. he is. He's my favourite. So this hundred great. hand slap. That was his move. The hundred hand slap. Yeah. You could just stand there, hammer the button, basically. And he did this. His, arm, his arm would go mental like Why that. You tell me this before we played that game. <laughs> there was a way. You knew the ways. No wonder you won. In that was season one, one callback. <laughs> Et. Bologna again, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think it very, was. very cool. Palante. Just you can't beat an ET, can you? They're just brilliant. I love no, that you get all the uh, the European logos on everything. Yeah, it's just that those little differences. Yeah, and it, for us, I was thinking in the shop as well, putting this stuff out. It's like, going, yes, well, I'm talking from talk. You know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? And they'll be able to go to the homes, and the people that get these, the people that have this stuff, will be like, kind of like, I got it off those guys, which was then it was on Toys from Tour. And it was bought from Italy, and they can see it being. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, it's like they've got a story behind their toys. So remember, in episode one, we found a, a robot with that uh, had two firing things. This has got one because his other arm was missing. Yeah. But you couldn't couldn't leave him, could you? Felt no. sorry for him, didn't you? No, he was just sort of sweet. <laughs> he was in uh, Germany in in the shop with the, oh, the uh, little shop we found. Yeah, yeah, the little shop with it. That beautiful um, Mercedes Benz uh, truck outside that I fell in love with. Yeah, he's cool, isn't he? Yeah. Just, just a really cool. As you lifted him, cool but I toy. spotted one of my favourite action figures of all time. <laughs> the Eddie Valiant Bob Hoskins figure from Roger Rabbit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look dear. at that! What an action figure! It's like in action figure, isn't it? Really, <laughs> not much action going on there. <laughs> a lack of action figure. Yeah. So here we are, back at the desk. We are. And you know what? The more I dig through this stuff, the more I sort of have these fond memories sort of come flooding back. It's quite exciting looking down into the boxes of stuff we've got here. And like going all the way back to kind of towards the start. Oh, so exciting to find this. x bomber. <laughs> Just like stuff that you kind of go, wow, I really, really want this. And then finding them and being able to actually bring them back with us. Leo oh. found that place for us, didn't it? Was it yeah. Leo's friend? Leo's friend, yeah, yeah he was a lovely, bar, lovely guy. Took us for a very nice coffee afterwards did, as well. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that, that, that is one of my sort of items that I just really, really loved. Because I saw it so many times after that as well on shelves in different shops, I thought, yeah, it's not rare over there, but, but it is just yeah. super cool. I mean, in the uh, when the when the trailer was first released, yeah. people were spotting yeah, this. Straight away, straight yeah, straight away, yeah. This is the stuff that we don't see. And I think that comment that was made when we were looking at stuff, which is kind of like, to us, we're going, wow, what's this? And they're going, for us, it's like my brother. <laughs> it's that close mm. to them. And that was amazing to me because it was stuff that it just shows you how different yeah. we are in countries and what we've watched as kids, what we're influenced by. All the design was very similar back then yeah. on these toys. All the boxes look the same. Yeah. All the toys look the same. Yeah, but but but, but, but sort of like they're stylized, aren't they? Yes. They're beautifully yeah. stylized toys. This is the broken one we found in the basement, remember? Sorry, warehouse. Warehouse. <laughs> Not basement, <laughs> warehouse. This is the broken one with the nose broken. But so we'll have a look at we're that. gonna have to have a look at that it and was, try and get it fixed. It's not snapped though, is it? It's just it's stuck, come loose. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look at this little guy here that as was, well. That was one he threw Mute for us. King. <laughs> you don't get much out of him. There's a nice story with this because yesterday we had a gentleman come in and bought quite a lot off yeah. us, and he expressed interest in one that we'd got. It was very, very similar. Mm -hmm. And bear in mind, I got that for free. I didn't pay for that. He gave you through that in. I gave him that. So okay. he was like, sort of going. So I said, when you watch Toys from Tour, you'll see we give, we've given a little bit back for you. So it's kind of like, oh, that's it's good. quite a sweet sort of like end to that. So wrestling stuff. This was something traditionally I've done very well with buying from Italy, getting it shipped over, and it was something I wanted to look out for this time. But it, prices have gone up there as well. So we're kind of this is kind of 
I just seem to go through a run of Brutus the Barber beefcake, so I don't know what that is with that. Uh, maybe it's the, the hair scissors, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've got no hair, I've no idea. <laughs> but I seem to go through a sort of thing of buying them. But if you see one, he's got both fingers and his scissors for his hairdressing career, which nobody talks about, uh, then uh, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Why did he have scissors? He was a barber, Brutus oh. the Barber Beefcake. <laughs> it's literally in the name, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I feel foolish now, don't I? <laughs> Toy expert, but not a wrestling expert, or indeed the English language. <laughs> well, I was watching the episodes back the other day, and speaking of wrestling, we bought this guy. No, we didn't say a lot about it on the actual I was episode. A, I was a bit too excited. You're too excited. First thing I picked up, I was like, yes, 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 yes. But it's a crazy Hulk Hogan costume with the big muscle vest and everything. Look at that kid. He's living his life there. Look at that. Gav, can you reckon? If we open this, can we get you in it? Every costume that comes in, I just want we're going to get Gavin this. We always want you to dress up in things. It's like living my dreams for me. But look at it. It's the, <laughs> the moustache. The moustache, the moustache, moustache is huge. Yeah. That's amazing. It's great. You've got everything there. Bandana. Even I bet, got the boots. I bet you when you get this out, it's really disappointing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like those rubbish vinyl costumes you used to get I really hope that's an all-in-one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want this for myself. If it's an all-in-one. <laughs> oh, man, that's amazing. So, yeah, that's my... Now, all of a sudden, I've got extra value because it's just so cool. That's going to up on one of the tops in the shop, that is. Because you think it's like that, but it's not. It's that, and that is just... Oh, yeah, a... It looks exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes. It looks exactly the same. Brilliant, with the old WWF logo as well, before the pandas Brilliant. got involved. Yeah, Toys on Tour, Leotard Division. <laughs> <laughs> now these, the day we went to Cushel Mushel, what a, what a mad day that was. What, was it Cushel Mushel? I, I think it was Cushel Mushel, because we were like, we were rushing about, we were so excited. We were running about, we were throwing things out, piling it up. Matt could not even capture everything, we were that excited. No, it was, it was a bit mad. We didn't have it? our filming heads on that day. No, we were just running around, weren't we? And these are, these are fantastic. I, I completely forgot about these. I can't remember even them. Yeah. But we, I was a bit delirious as well that day. It was like happiness and joy yeah. after. But they are pocket comics. They're like Mighty Max, basically. You open the little comic up. It's got a little play set. You've got your little guys. And uh, I believe these are really coming through now. And they're really beautiful as well, condition-wise. Yeah. They're really nice. Really nice. I'm not surprised we picked them up. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. They've got the comic book cover as yeah. well. Just, yeah, they're sweet, aren't they? Like those a lot. So what are these little uh, these little transformers? Oh, they're they're uh, they're a machine, but they came from Italy. They're like GoBots, they're machine robo. Yeah. So GoBots, really really cool boxes, different packaging yeah. to what we'd have. That's why I liked it. And I, I went back and forth on these mentally because I was I was again that shop was absolutely awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. Just near Milan, there, beautiful place. Lovely people as well. Really, yeah, really they were nice like people. yeah, they stick in your head, don't they? Because yeah. they were so nice. Everybody was. We met so many nice people on Toys Fun Tour. <laughs> Michelangelo. Where did he come from? No idea. No, I can't remember I mean. either. <laughs> no idea. Can't remember. Too Search fine. and find. That was it. Yes, <laughs> at the end. Oh, that was cool. That... It's so long ago. <laughs> yeah. It was like a rabbit warren when you went through yeah. that shot, wasn't it? It was brilliant. I love that. <laughs> He's great. Really cool. He was stood in the window, wasn't he? Yes. I only saw him at the end. Along with the big robot fella, we keep calling him. You mean Ray Dean? Ray it's just Dean. just funny because he sounds like a bloke that your mum played bingo with once. There you go. Oh, have you been to see Ray Dean? Oh, Ray Dean, ah, yeah. Here's one of your stories. Oh. <laughs> Tintin and Captain Addict. These are going home for me. So, uh, yeah, they are, they're great. And I, I fell in love with these in Switzerland yes. and finally got them in uh, France. So, oh, from like, Lulu Baloo. From Lulu Baloo, yeah. yeah. That was a nice shop. It was an amazing shop. Yeah. yeah, really, really cool shop. What a day or two that was. That was just <laughs> unbelievable. We showed up on the day that was like it was it was a bank holiday basically, and every no one was at work, and we had no idea, and they'd obviously not remembered either. So it was one of those things where we just had to kind of get another hotel. A, uh, it was a fun day on Toy Shop on Tour. That it, one. It was. <laughs> I was really, you two were brilliant, I was, I was gone. My head had gone by that point. <laughs> so then, Mr. Gav, I see there's some associated tat on my counter. <laughs> what I loved about Europe is there was absolutely loads of small vinyl figures. And they're great because you can get a lot on your shelf. 
and they're cheap. They're like three euros fifty each in Europe. Yeah, but that was that was a very good price, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a very good price. It was. But I was so excited. I have never seen before. And it was mentioned on episode one of the show. But snuggle bums. I did not know they made little vinyl snuggle bums, and they are the absolute cutest thing. Just as a side note, that's also Gav's pet name for me. <laughs> and as well, I think we featured these, the wrinkle Wrinkly, dogs. Yeah, wrink what are yeah. they called? Wrinkles? Wrinkles. Wrinkles, there you go. That's it. They're really cool. I can't remember where I got this, but it wasn't uh, Cushion Mushle, but he had loads of McDonald's stuff that he wouldn't let me buy. I was over the other side of the shop when you were doing it. Yes. This is exciting for me, I'm seeing things. <laughs> there you go, and of course you've got your, your Italian style Care Bears. See, I refer to them as knockoffs. But they had loads of them. They had a whole range. And I believe there was a cartoon as well. Really? Yeah. Wow. I had a little look into it. And they're really cool. They've all, all got an A on it. don't know why. No idea. But they're very cool. I do like, I do like, the, I do like the Snuggle Bombs. I think I've yeah. never seen them before. No. Who's the guy with the, uh, with the truncheon? Officer Dibble. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see him from there. From Top Cat. Amazing. See, when you got figures, you don't want Top Cat. You want Officer Dibble. You want oh, the side characters. That's how it is for me. Always the side characters. I like. I don't I, want the main guys. I, well, I know what you mean. I like the Asterix stuff. I like the, the shield bearers and the stuff like that. Exactly, the guns yeah. that you don't see. But you've got to have the main characters as well. You need a Top Cat. No. You do. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jim. Him as he is, on his own, on a shelf. That <laughs> Batman, though. If I could have picked one thing out <laughs> on the whole trip which screamed gaff, it was that Batman. <laughs> Baby Batman. Sucking his dummy. It's not even any kind of official merchandise. Someone's no, cast that. That's yeah. a real knockoff. It's just... It's really nasty, but I love it's it. It's not. It's really cool. I mean, it's solid, isn't it? If <laughs> yeah, you threw oh, that yeah. at someone, it would have really Gonna do hurt. some damage. But yeah. <laughs> he is very cool. And totally you. Yeah. You know what? It gives me such joy. When I'm going around and I'm seeing stuff and I'm going, gathered like that, gathered like that, gathered <laughs> like that. It's really nice. I get that sort of feeling. I get that buzz for you. Mm. It's really cool. You know, weird stuff. Weird stuff, yeah. Which you buy. Certainly this side of things, I can mm. see why. I mean, I once had a full set of Care Bears in my... Yes, in your toilet. Bathroom. bathroom. Not in the toilet, in the bathroom, dear. <laughs> not, not actually in anyway, the toilet. Obviously, I didn't have, like, the, the Treat Hot Pig and the little vinyls. No. I didn't have the Treat Hot Pig or, the, or, you know, the monkey. But, the rare ones. But, you know, I had all the main guys. They were great. But I was always paranoid that we were going to go yellow. So I had to go, no, I must put them away, secret. <laughs> and then I don't... You know, if they're put away, I want to see the stuff. Exactly. You've got to have it all out, haven't you? <laughs> So, I couldn't go on a tour of toys and not pick up some ALF merchandise. Look at him, on his sofa, with the cat, which he's going to eat, because that's what he did. It's quite horrible, really, ALF. It was so funny. Did he eat the cat? He ate the cats. That was ALF's thing. <laughs> oh, my life. I never knew that. I know. It's a little bit dark, but we've got this cassette tape, ALF Super Hit Parade. It's just a regular, you know, compilation tape, but Alf is advertising it, so it makes you want it more. What is it mean? Oh, button? don't look back. The Cure, <laughs> Lombarda by Elton John. Hey, no, no, come on. I was going to say, don't look back. That's wrong. These, these songs are all mixed up. But none of those songs will be as good as this maxi single, Alf, stuck on Earth. But you don't want it for the uh, the A side. You want it for the B side. Cruising on Melmac in this interstate. <laughs> and we need to get this on. We need to listen to this at some point. <laughs> Got to get a record player set up in the basement. Old gramophone, something like that. Yeah, old tunes on there. Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, I love Al. These, this was right from the episode one in Leo's basement. Now that was a warehouse, because although it was a basement, huge. You didn't even see the half of it. I did. I saw the other bit that you couldn't see. And it was amazing, it was all you dreamed of and more. And out of it, I dragged this, the Mobile Action Command shop stock set. I absolutely love these. I've not gone through it yet because this is literally the first time I've got it out. I've literally got that and put the header card in. It doesn't make it look great. I think this, I can't split this. It's got to go as one piece because it's such a special item, it's lovely. And I know those of you that will say, well, you get more money if you split it, but I don't know, would you? I probably would, but I love it more like this. Somebody's gonna, imagine having that in your own collection. It'd be amazing. I don't know how many of these survive, but I bet there's not many. I'm, I think that's one of my favorite things of all. Oh, wow. I think it is. I think it's up there. 
because it's just I've never had one before. Most of the stuff I've bought, I've had before. Mm. Never had one of these. So that makes it a bit special for me. The original Monster in My Pocket Mountain. Now, if you can fit this in your pocket, I'll give you a tenner, all right? Unless you're some sort of magician. That ain't going in your pocket, is it? I've had loads of these. These, all, these came from Leo, and this is one of the toys that I, I first, when I first met Leo, mm. this, I bought about three or four of these, and they were really cheap. This one wasn't cheap. <laughs> no, it, wasn't. it wasn't cheap. <laughs> Not but it was, you know, it's like one of those things. It, it did over time. It's gone up. Yeah. Things have gone up in price. Has, yeah. yeah. You're not wrong. Oh man. Oh, this I've already a... seen some bits amazing <laughs> in here. Oh, I've got to grab that. I'm going straight oh, in. No way. Straight in. Blurt balls. This was amazing. Carded blurt balls. Cushion mushel again, I believe. Yeah. I've never ever had one. No, I've not. No. I collect uh, these. I've never, you know, never had one in my hands. No, it's weird. Like stuff that I've I mean it's not massively expensive, but it's just really That's cool. It. And it's called Spitui Sui. Yeah. <laughs> what a name. It's amazing. So basically this pig, you squeeze it, it shoot this out. It's just got some worms and grass and stuff in it. Really cool, like mad balls. Of course your mushroom is an absolute treasure trove. Dragonflies is not a good line. And I don't care. I know if there's some of you that say, no, it is, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? It is a bit rubbish. Have one action feature, you pulled the thing, basically shot off and flew for a bit and then glanded back down. Um, I don't know what to say about it, but I had to buy it. We were it's on... 90s, isn't it? It's the we're 90s stuff that's slowly coming through as well. This is very slowly coming through. <laughs> this is like, you know... Uh, we've, we've got a guy, though, Glaciers are these. melting faster. Yes. <laughs> well, we have got a guy that collects these, yeah. so, and I don't think he's got that. No. So that's probably going to go It's a nice big set, that is. Yeah. Lots of fading on the box, though. Look. Yeah. Ooh, that shouldn't be that colour. But mm. how often you buy something 90s for that little money? It was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a puppet. <laughs> Animal from Muppet Babies. <laughs> oh, he's cool. Again, yeah. this is this the Cushion Mushel box. It's the Cushion Mushel box. I think it is, yeah. The whole box is just full. Look at that, that was Cushel 10 Mushel euros. Joy. 10 oh, euros wow. that was. A Marsupilani. Now we saw yeah. him all over Europe, didn't we? First, we saw him in Switzerland. Switzerland. He's, but, a, he's a huge character. We don't really see him over here. No. But you just had to pick one up, didn't you? Just to, I, to represent I really Europe. wanted that one in Switzerland, and yeah, it was like 100 expensive. euros yeah. or something. I was like, oh no, I don't want to, you know, for something that's a bit of a vanity purchase. So finding him was like, yeah. oh, he's really cool. And he's great, he's got a wiry tail. We don't want to be bending that too much because no. it will break. Oh, no, it's got some just age a, to it, Just that. a great character. Really cool, isn't he? Yeah, really, really cool. good. And this is the point, you go to Europe, you see things that you kind of go, that's really cool, but I don't know why I like it, because you've got no, You've got no sort of affinity with it, whereas no, that would have no been attachment a, to you it. know, they'd have known all about that. Mm. This is just a box where we're just going to be digging through for ages and pulling stuff out. It's just awesome. Oh, look at the Manta Force down there. Oh, that cool knockoff ET. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. This is all Cushel Mushel, I think. What's that down there? <laughs> this is just amazing. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, Bendham's. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, amazing. That's uh, that's Matt's, I think. Is that Matt? I think we got that for Matt. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> there we go. This is just like, I mean, Rugrats. Look at the little Rugrats figures. Where are they? I can't even just see. Just there, look. There oh yeah. Go. Diving in. Oh yeah. Look at them. Because at one point they'd have been all over the place in all the shops. You're not going to see him now. You were so excited just to be in this place that had stuff from the 90s that yeah. was kind of like, I never thought I'd be that excited about 90s stuff. I know, it's weird, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But then we got stuff as well from a lot earlier. Hello! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Miss Piggy. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. I can't and want that. Muppets, Muppets are sort of timeless, aren't they? Yeah. If you were a kid and you're sort of below the age of 50, chances are you'd have watched the Muppets in some mm. form or other. But I'm always going to tell you, ours was best. As was always best. <laughs> oh, Muppet Babies as well, which is cool. But yeah, amazing. Love her. A Laura. A oh, Laura yeah. Croft. We bought another, there's a statue in here. There's a there? Laura Croft statue in there as well. Gaming stuff from this era is really coming through as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's Very collectible now, especially boxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was that was during a time everyone bust everything out. Yeah. They yeah. weren't seen as collectibles back then. I remember having these in the shop years ago and they'd be, mm. you wouldn't even want them. Right. Like, whereas now you're like, hey, and she's quite, I think she's quite a hard one to get. She is, you don't yeah. see her very often. So that's cool. I'm, I'm nervous about any statues. I always think the chances of them breaking on a, you know, a continental tour of Europe with 
three men in a van. Yeah. More Muppet Babies. Oh, more. We went for it with Muppets, didn't we? we? Well, we just went for it with everything <laughs> in there, didn't we? Oh, another puppet. We do have a slight colour fading issue with this one, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not watching this in black and white, people. It is uh, it is full colour. But yeah, she's amazing. And... She's mint. She's pretty mint. She's got a bit of a bit of a mark there. But yeah, she'll clean up. She's feel, never been played with. But I did want to get oh, to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. This was great, wasn't it? Is it a Spidey? Spider-Man. Yeah. Really cool. Marvel superhero, star toy, Spider-Man. Very nice indeed. Back from the early 90s. Yeah. Never been out. Every now and again, you'll see one of these dotted around at toy fairs. Yeah, yeah. And now but we've got one. He's really, I've never had him before. No. He's going home with me. More stuff for Joe. Yeah, brilliant. Look at that. Now, basically, it's like a... It's exactly the same, isn't it? <laughs> Apart from he pulls off like some sort of weird trouser boob tube thing a lot better than I can. I think you'd rock that quite nicely. Oh, like an old man in pyjamas. You know, pyjama <laughs> there is a certain age where pyjamas just don't stop to the nipples, do they? <laughs> you know, when you get to that age and the pyjamas are up here. Obelix has reached that quite early. Bless him. Gotta love him. Wish I had his buns. You've seen my smalls. Now look at my Mighty Max. He's amazing. Came off the wall in Cushel Mushel and he is fab. He has got a few holes. There's one there. There's one up by his cap. But he's in pretty darn good shape otherwise. And he's been on their wall since the 90s because it was they ordered a lot of Mighty Max they said in the 90s and this was sort of given to them as a promotional item. I said promotional weird then didn't I? Promotional no. item. Promotional item. It's a promotional item. <laughs> but no, promotional item, Mighty Max, very, very cool. And this will, I love shop display stuff, so I'm, to get this, I was really pleased. Really nice. Oh, here you go, no, no. There he is, from Ulysses. These are quite hard to get hold of. They do a metal one of these as well, don't they? Well, the metal ones are more common. I don't know what this one is. I've got a feeling, because it, the shop wasn't the cheapest shop. No. And I've got a feeling that's quite a very a cheap toy. Okay. But I've not seen one before. And if you haven't seen it, you've got to buy it. If you like it, works, it yeah. and I like it, and I hadn't seen it, so I bought it. Look at this glass. Oh, I forgot awesome. about that. Yeah. A black hole Vincent glass. Where did they come? They came from Belgium, didn't they? Yes. Now, what was the story? Did they have honey in them or something? What did he they sell They were like us? a freebie, like a giveaway, yeah. weren't they? With mustard. Something? Mustard. Mustard. That was it. That was it. So that mustard, and they'd obviously have a lid, because you wouldn't sell it just like the mustard. What do you mean? Mean? Moutard in France or Belgium. Moutard. Moutard. Matt, I think you've got Tex Avery ones, haven't you? Tex Avery, yeah. We saw lots of these in uh, Lulu Baloo, didn't we? Yeah. We did. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's just that cool thing. If you've got a collection of stuff and you want something to finish it off. And if you're European, you'd be watching this going, it's kind of like common. It's like, yeah. you know, it's so common. But for us, you don't see this very often at all. Not as breaky breaky as the Black Star Ice Castle, which is, is giving me the sweats because it's sat back there and I want to go and check it, uh, but I, I'm waiting till the end. Not yet, more toys. More, more, more toys, because there's so much to go through. This, this dude. This is, this is rubbish, but amazing. Brilliant, absolutely amazing. It's very cheap as well. There's, there's his other legs, look. Yeah, his other legs. He needs them. I don't even know how that works. I mean, just that comes off. I think that comes off, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we sorted that. Jaws van, bought from France. Um, cool. So when I first saw this, because I'm not a man of film, as Gav often says, I'm not a man of television either, um, I thought it was Jaws as in the shark. Ah, but it's it was only later it was Jaws as in the Bond film. Ah. When, I when, I, when I found an actual gift set, I went, why oh, is that in there? That's weird. Let's put that in there. And I went, oh, there's a character in the film oh, called Jaws. I always thought it was Jaws the shark. No, but... it's not. It's Jaws from, from James Bond. Superman clock. Doesn't El work. Elmu? Elmu. Fiverr. Yeah, Charles it's, Fiber, just looks, it doesn't work. looks great, doesn't it? I love it. I really liked Elmo. It uh, was like the guy had turned the bottom of his house, well, you'll have seen it on the show, into a uh, into a whole shop. Yeah. There's lots of retro gaming, lots of cool stuff. I got some little pocket synths off him. I don't think that was on camera. Really cool. Just a, such a nice guy, wasn't he? Yeah, really lovely guy. And like, yeah, just I just really like that. I mm. just think it's really cool. And I know it doesn't work, but you know. <laughs> We've got phones now for telling the time, haven't we? More glass. Oh, more glassware. Ducktails. Is that right? Yeah, that was it. Get me with a theme Spot tune. On. 
<laughs> Ducktails. These are brilliant, and I'm, I'm opening them very carefully. Where did these them. come from? I don't remember you getting these. Uh, these came from um, Elmu as well. Elmo came from Elmu as well, yeah. They're brilliant. Yeah. I love the bowls. Do you remember yeah. the cereal bowls you've got in the 80s, like yeah. the Kellogg's ones? These are the same sort of thing. With your tiny little cereal boxes. I mean, like that. In I mean, if we were getting cereal for James, he'd use the middle one. <laughs> he would. That'd be, that'd be and James. And he'd have two bowls. He'd have two bowls of that, yeah. <laughs> Two bowls of that with all the sugar on in Britain. <laughs> if Tim hasn't had it for his coffee. Yeah. Which is another thing. What's right. this then? Hot Wheels Attack Pack? Yeah, really cool. What do we know about this? Attack Pack, just one of them toy lines that are coming through. Okay, cool. I rate them highly. They're and good, I think aren't they? Really good. It's good looking They're toy. really cool. It's a car thing and it's a monster thing and it's sort of a little bit of everything. There's a bit of action in there. It's really just a cool, cool toy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Sports freaks from the era of gross-out toys. It's like something you'd see in Mad Magazine, isn't it? Yeah, he's cool. He's really good, I like him. It's not his original bat, is it? No, he's, I wonder where the bat came from. It's like, yeah. really quite cool, but no, not the original bat. You should have a thing around there, but he's great, find another. He? Don't come up. No, you're not gonna see him. It's more of, more of an American toy, this one. Yeah, I think so. It's like weird to see it in Germany, which is where we got it from, a cushion wash all. <laughs> Look at him. It's like me, my hair at Glastonbury in 1995, that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the worst thing we bought. <laughs> that is, I think that is definitely the worst thing we bought. <clears throat> From Andy Daniel at Strong Vision, uh, we bought this Kryptonite Rock. Now, I bought some rubbish in my time. <laughs> and this isn't having a go. I fully knew I was buying rubbish when I bought it. But this really is. Forget, I've, I've said before, destroy Cassandra from the Doctor Who range. Um, and the, by character options is the worst action figure ever and it is but this is probably the worst toy ever because it is just this lovely box so very nice you yeah, Superman collector great package very good it's not even a rock in the correct color it's a rock that's been painted green to look like kryptonite and I'd like to alert you to the instructions as well which tell us that it's terrific it's fantastic. It's kryptonastic. Kryptonastic. Glow in the dark. Now, I've been in the dark with this, and I've got to tell you, it doesn't even glow in the dark. It is that rubbish. Not only does it not say, don't not do what it says on the instructions, it's been painted green. Absolute drivel. I mean, I am honestly a worry, <laughs> I think. Uh, At the same I, time, I think that's really cool. I know. <laughs> So do I, but it, I, I'd, I'd buy that. So do I. Now. So do I, but, but we're not. We're not normal. <laughs> we're not normal. That's <laughs> like fifty euros or something as oh, well. And I had to barter it down as well. Oh, dear. I had to work at that. I wouldn't to get pay for fifty that. euros. For no, that. no. I don't think anybody else would either. So I have that for a long in the time. Shop forever now. There we go. Oh dear. Oh well. Never mind. What I did buy it was a three-headed dragon dinosaur thing. Another Hong Kong sort of joyous occasion. These are brilliant. If you buy action figures and you see them around the car boots and stuff like that, pick up the weird stuff because it's worth money now. I saw one of these in another shop and it was 50, 60 hmm? euros for the same thing. Yeah. And I think this one cost me 10. 10 euros. 10 euros he buys me that. And do I know what it is? Not really. Am I familiar with them? No, but I know when it's weird and when it's a dinosaur thing and it's Hong Kong, pick it up. It's going to be good. I've said all that. It's made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's some nice stuff in this box. Look at that, really, really nice carded Iron Man from Secret Wars. I think that's, we picked a couple of these up along the way, didn't we? There we go. Very, very cool. I love the little shields. These are ahead of their time and they sort of change. Lenticular, that's what we're talking about. Lenticular shields. I think I know her. <laughs> or him, Len, Lenticular. Lenticular shields. <laughs> Lenticular Shields, you've seen him. These are one of my favourites though. There we go, Filmation Ghostbusters, carded. We saw the uh, loose ones earlier. And this was a cartoon from the 80s. See, everyone knows the real Ghostbusters, and that's why it was called the real Ghostbusters, because yeah. this was already out. But look at her. I'm just gonna pull that one down. Look at that hair. Tiny little head, massive hair. I like this figure. We've we got a loose one of these, don't we? We have, have we? Oh, we have, mate. Sorry. Well, there we go. But you never know. I forgot what, what we bought. Yeah. Oh, it's just, this is amazing. Just looking through all this stuff yeah. together, it's so cool. <laughs> Another. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the colours on this keeper. I, I forgot about this one. Yeah. That's yeah. really nice. 
That came from a shop near Milan as well. They're lovely. Oh man, Tango and Twist. This is completely different colours to the one we had over here. Yeah. Is that one orange? Maybe. I can't even see what you're holding, Gab. <laughs> and I've not seen it since I bought it, so I don't know. There you go. That yeah. one there. That one's like orange. Yeah. And that's the thing with unboxing all this stuff. I see stuff that I want myself, but I can't have it. It's got to go out. Oh, Lumo Ragno. Oh, it's the Hulk. <laughs> I forgot you bought this guy yeah. as well. Look yeah. at him, chunky, metal. Beautiful. Oh, the good packaging. Was. Got the jig as well. Yeah, and there's, t well, we all like to do a jig, don't we? <laughs> I think Hulk would love to do a jig. There's two or three in there, but that was the, that was the one that was really nice. He's in great shape. Yeah. Oh, I think that he'll be priced. Bought. These are pricey now as well, I don't know they? if you bought another one or not. <laughs> I literally had a blank. I'm like, this, you buy I, Joe beat me to the punch on this because I'd seen this as well. Yeah. And he'd already put it in his pile, Maximilian, but it's the magnetic one where you can pull all the arms and things off. They're really great. I've, I've, I've only ever seen this one here. Stars. See, we've had him in before. He's really nice. They suffer with breakages, the thumbs yeah. break, things like that, and they're both really That's nice. That's it. And even this, this Maximilian's got a little bit of wear on him. But as Joe always says, find another. Yeah, I've never, never had a match no. before. He's great, and he's exactly the same as, same as the small figure, isn't he? Very, They're very, just yeah. Blowing it up, stuck some magnets cool. in. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I think he threw this. Yes, into he you, did. Didn't he? Yeah, and that's so cool. That's a really look late. Back. Look on the back. On the back, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, look, it's got scare glow on it. Titus, well, Megator. This is. It's all the late ones, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That needs scanning in and framing up. That does. Oh, to be a child in Italy. During oh, that yeah. period of time, my life, the <laughs> toys. Oh, it wouldn't be Toy Shop on tour without some rubbish wrestlers. And this yeah. one is the boxer, world champion, the boxer. He's not even a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, and that's it as well. Look, look at the poor drawing here. I always like to comment on this. Put some effort in, people. Look at that. That's rubbish. Yeah. It's, you, you know, if you're putting in your, your, your dollar store, pound store sort yeah. of tat, let's put some effort into the card art. <laughs> no, no, they should. Come no, on. they shouldn't. I like, I like the fact it's so. I like the fact it was sort of some designer going. I'm getting it looks paid like how a, much? A young teen's art project. That yeah. does. <laughs> it probably was. It probably was. It was probably somebody that got paid very, very little. All from the toy boys. They're a good bunch of guys, aren't they? More Ghostbusters. <laughs> More filmation Ghostbusters. They're such good figures. I like him. He looks like a cross between kind of Metropolis and Spotty Man from Super Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> also from the Toy Boys, we've got these two Transformers, the twins, the Decepticon twins. Very cool. Uh, I like these a lot. I always seem to sort of struggle to get these, so it was really nice to find them in Holland. And... They were just really good guys to deal with, weren't they? Oh, they were really, really nice guys. And again, this is from Detroit Boys as well. They had everything hung up in their branding in these little bags. I couldn't not have this McDonald's scary sound effects tape. Must have been like a Halloween Happy Meal promo or something. Oh, I look forward to that. <laughs> Side A, I like to scare myself. That's going to be a song, isn't it? That's, <laughs> That's going to be amazing. a McDonald's song. I like to scare myself. Creepy Ronald, I like to scare myself. <laughs> now this one, if you, for those of you that are looking at this thinking, well, it's a bit, perhaps colour-wise, it could be a little bit brighter. Yeah, it could. But finding these at all that's not gone completely yellow is really tough. Really, really nice to find. Love that. And it's nice to get some girl stuff in. Yeah. It's nice to get some girl stuff that in. That was one of the great things. I mean, some of my favourite stuff, in fact, my very favourite thing, which I've not even pulled out, is... Uh, girl stuff we'll get yeah. to that we'll get to, we'll that. Get to that we'll get to that there you go this is cool this space gun just for the <laughs> little guy on the front yeah <laughs> what was good about this it wasn't about the gun at all it was all about the little mask <laughs> look at that the gun's rubbish it's totally what we bought it for <laughs> 12 functions this gun's got 12 Sh shoot what's what's the other 11 i don't know <laughs> shoot shoot um, with your mask on shoot with your mask off well, i think there'd be like different things like set phases to stun set phases to kill set set, set phases to rheumatoid arthritis oh 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 yeah oh, set yeah, phases yeah. to have you been involved in an accident at work hold on here he is hey there you captain go Joe. captain haddock there you Good. go and Where fight. did you get him? It was he a was, gift. He was a gift from our friends in Switzerland. 
and you know now i've got my actual captain hatter which i saw first at their shop and now i have one from france so that was my gift and that set me off on the road for this and <laughs> i'm very happy about that. that's going to go home with me so come on from the beginning give me give me give me from the beginning you were looking for tintin stuff though tintin and asterix was my thing yeah. and i did scratch both itches i did get my asterix fix at the toy boys in harlem with some side characters again mm -hmm. but I, i'm merely only in it for the geese <laughs> i'm only <laughs> in it for the geese brilliant. man i like the little warthog he's my favorite oh yeah no they're great <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, i mean like voltron look at that how cool now there you go there's good artwork look at that that sells the toy that does the picture not so much the actual toy not so much but the artwork look at that box battling black lion charges into action with secret weapons opening and closing jaws light up eyes and mouth flapping wings and tail that's a lot of stuff on one toy really really cool bright colors ljn it's exactly what it's selling your old dating profile though guys <laughs> light up eyes flapping wings and tail <laughs> Back to Leo's place, back to Leo's warehouse. Back to the very beginning. The very beginning, all that time ago. Angelo, so that's why they've got A's on them. There you go, it all becomes clear. Yeah. If only you had the packaging to have done something. <laughs> to tell me that, yeah. But look, they're like, yeah, they are knockoff Care Bears really, aren't they? That's what they are. They definitely are. Yeah. You know when I said I had my Care Bear collection, mm. I had the monkey version of this. Oh, really? Yeah. I have not. And it was really weird, and it was like cheap, and I thought oh, wow. it was. I found it at a car boot sale many years ago, oh. and I thought it was the right thing. Mm. It might have been one of these. Oh, it was certainly it. like a knockoff. It I'll wasn't, be on the lookout for that now. It wasn't the, the real thing. One. I've only seen bears while we were away. No. First time I've seen them. It might not be that line, but further research required. Yeah, there we go. Also, and I think it's time, you're not going to open them, are you? I'm going to open my blind bag spitballs. Oh dear. The 18 foot squirt. Always got that. Stand back, man. Here we go. Anything could happen here. What have we got? The first one out. We've got a pig. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Oh, they're so good. I wish I'd bought the rest of these. We'll have to contact I Leo. I know what happened, though. We both were a bit nervous yeah. because we we're kind of like thinking, like, financially, you're kind of going, yeah. oh, you've got a lot it's of money. It's the very yeah, beginning. The very beginning of the tour. And, you know, I held back enormous. And I look, yeah, I did. looking back on the episode, I go, why didn't I buy that? Yeah. In fact, I spent the whole time in the series doing that, looking at other things, going, why didn't I buy oh, that? Oh, there we go. This one's the classic. He's the American football guy. Oh, look at him. He features on the packaging. I like the pig more. I like the pig more. I knew you'd like the pig more. Yeah. I want the skull. So I'm going to have to buy the rest of them now. Yeah. So I'll get the skull. There we go. Brilliant. So if you need any blind bags, <laughs> Gab will probably have some spares. Yeah. Opened. Spitballs. On his fruitless search for the skull. <laughs> there it is. I mean, the box is immaculate. So you'd think the toy's going to be great. <laughs> I genuinely I haven't seen this I haven't looked at this I haven't opened the box I've not even done a sneaky peek nothing I've not done anything and people have asked because we've seen the, the trailer and then they've gone oh well how? and I've just gone it's not available and it's been sat in that basement all this time waiting it has and I'm now going to have to try and turn this over oh my life it, even from the picture on the side it looks like like uh, like the hive, it's that type of toy, isn't it? It's that type like of toy. Like the sector's hive. Yeah, it's that type of toy. It's like a, a very very cheap mm. uh, grey school. Yeah. But because of the blue plastic it's made out of, it's nothing to do with the colour. It's not the colour blue. It's just that plastic, man. It's so breaky. So I am nervous. This has been opened before. There's a rip there, and it is brand new inside. So we'll see. Oh man, I can tell already. There's... Yeah, there's issues. Oh no, oh, already. Oh man. Yeah, there's issues. Okay. So when we said this was a cheap, and I think that is everything out of the box. Let me just go and get the stickers and everything else. Is that all of it? Yeah, that's all the stickers yeah. and the card. This is oh. brand new. And this is the risk you get with buying old toys. This Black Star Ice Castle has been broken in the worst place possible. Oh, man. All around the bottom edge. It is all literally here. just, it looks like a vac formed. Yeah, it's really cheap. You can see why they broke so easily, because it's so, I'm gutted. 
but at the same time I kind of it is amazing though look at it yeah I mean yeah it's cracked around here but that's the main base Gav these are the parts for it and you feel how flimsy the plastic is Can you, it's just yeah unbelievably brittle. I can't believe they actually made a toy this brittle I mean even, and I think I have this conversation every time I get one which isn't often you know it's just unbelievably but think for it to even be in that shape now you know yeah kids would have smashed this all it would have died straight away yeah. yeah it's not it's not the only way to get a nice one is to buy an unused one and even that as we found out there's yeah. no guarantee so that will have happened within the packaging wouldn't it i think so I, i'm slightly you know i'm slightly skeptical as to whether this is completely unused because this bit's together but I've not handled enough of them in recent memory to kind yeah. of say for definite. But it it feels like it's never been played with because it's got the feel of it's you know very uh, very dusty though. Yeah, um, I yeah. think yeah, I think this has been out. I'm this has been on display somewhere. Yeah, possibly. If you're going to buy a Black Star Ice Castle, check it. For goodness' sake, I still love it though. But it's yeah. definitely not my favourite toy now. It is more damaged than I thought it would be. I like it though. It's got some cool bits. I can't believe they made such a bad I know job you're gutted, this. but look at these bits here. Yeah. How cool is it? You think about how good the figures yeah. are. The figures are really good, right? Mm. They've got the spark action. Oh, the cheap yeah. ones didn't, but you generally... couldn't you couldn't play with them with this. No. <laughs> There's no way, and it's not even to scale. I mean, you know. No, it is a weird scale. Yeah, actually. I mean, like you want, <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> the figures are like that, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the figures are... Where's he going? John Blackstar won't get through the door. No. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? You know, I talk about gold plastic on Transformers. Nothing. Nothing about to this. This. Yeah. this is the most breaky toy ever. So that's one thing we've discovered. There you go. we found out the most breaky toy. But let's not end on a damp squib. Toy Shop on Tour 2. Yeah. Looking back on it... Oh, what a ride. It was amazing, wasn't it? It was really good. I mean, it was... Very tiring. There's a lot of miles, like 3,600 yeah. miles. I think a lot of did. time in the van. A lot of time in the van, especially <laughs> for me. Um, and uh, But we found things out. We discovered things. We've got nice new cabinets, so all these are new. And yeah, we've so learned a lot from seeing other people set up. So we've done with, done with some nice new lights for the cabinets, yeah. and these are new ones. So this is cool. And we've discovered things, haven't we, about toys that we didn't know. We've learned yeah, something. New toy lines. And hopefully you have too, which yeah. is cool. But we've still not established what your favourite toy was. And I think the Black Star Ice Castle has kind of thrown me. Yeah. So I've gone back through the things I've took home. I can't really count them because I took them home. Mm -hmm. So I had that thing I go, the Tintin stuff because I really wanted it. The Asterix <laughs> because I really wanted it. But it had to be something I hadn't had before. And it had to be something that I, I'm fond of. So after a bit of a sort of, I even picked up the kryptonite back up and just went, no, you're an idiot. <laughs> but after a bit of a ring roll, I ended up stuck back on oh, yeah. Maximilian because it's iconic because I haven't had one and because I've kind of only ever seen them in pictures and gone, I really want one of those. So I'm really pleased to have this. That's I'm really pleased yeah, to have it. That is a good choice. And it's not going to come home with me. It's going to be selling the shop. So it's kind of like, it's what it should be. We know the stuff I love, which is the stuff That's I've got at home. But this one, when, it, when he sells from the shop, I'll be a very sad little man. And I don't think he'll hang around either. No, he's ace. Yeah. So yeah, I love him. What was your favourite memory, do you think? Oh, of course you're Marshall. Of course you're Marshall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. It yeah, just was. It was so like, it was so exciting. Yeah. It really was. The amount of stuff in there. We were running around like a couple of kids. I think when we went through this, Matt constantly said, I haven't seen that. I didn't film yeah. that. I haven't seen that. Because we were so rapidly yeah. we were throwing stuff out the door. We've got to yeah. have this. We've got to have this. There's probably more yeah. bits in the basement, though, because I've sort of <laughs> got this vague moment. We bought that, though, as well. Did we buy? <laughs> so, you know, there'll be more stuff to find as well, which is quite exciting. But that's it. But the stuff's going to be out in the shop now, isn't it? It is, yeah. So they'll be able to come in and buy it, yes. which is cool. Um, and it, I suppose that's what it's all about. Yeah. We and do buying this. Buying and selling. Yeah, we do this to <laughs> buy and sell toys, but it's the buying that's the most fun. Selling's a necessary evil. It's finding the toys, discovering, yeah. it's the, the adventure. Excitement. Yeah. The excitement of finding yeah. those toys. So thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. But you, you know, We've got our favourites. <laughs> like you, with your children. We've got our favourites. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We've got. You've got... <laughs> Oh, Matt's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's not going in, Bridget. No. Sorry. Went down a dark, dark path there. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think you should keep it in. <laughs> keep it in. <laughs>